Greetings fellow Volvo 240 drivers and enthusiasts. Escafan here with my 89 sedan. Got the hood up and I'm going to talk about some electrical ground locations that I found under the hood and I cleaned them and they solved an uh, electrical problem that I had. And the problem that I was having it was an intermittent problem, um, seemed to be happening more when it was raining out or wet conditions. And when I would hit the brakes or use the turn signal, the radio would cut out just for a second. And then I had uh, two or three no start situations where the car was totally dead when I'd be driving and then you know, stop somewhere and then restart it, go to restart it and I'd just have nothing, no warning lights, no nothing. So when these things were happening, what I would do is I'd get out and I'd clean the battery cables. I'd clean the ground connection on the battery. And then the problem would go away. The car would fire right up or the uh, radio issue would be solved temporarily, but it would always come back. And then, so, I got the idea that I needed to get some new battery cables. And before I did that, I wanted to just check where the ground connections were at. So I'm going to show you where three of them are at, the three that I found under the hood. And I took them apart and I sanded them and I put electrical grease on them. And now the electrical problems are gone. I've been driving it around for a few days in uh, heavy rain here in Iowa. And no more electrical problems. So I recommend doing this if you have some strange uh, intermittent electrical problems. I'm going to show the first one here. It's coming right off of the battery, right off of the where the negative cable comes out and it goes into the fender here and you can kind of see the bolt there. It's got some red like anti-corrosion spray around but I think that was the one that was causing the problem was because I think when I disconnected the uh, negative cable to clean it on the battery there on the times I was having the problems I was probably jiggling this ground just enough to cause uh, um, the connection to be better. And it was very dirty around this ground. So hopefully you can see it there. There it is. That's a good shot of it right there. So recommend cleaning that. Here's the next one. This one's a little harder to see, but it's got that lead with the red uh, part of the wire on it. And that's coming off of the compressor. And then it also uh, has the ground cable that comes in there. And that was uh, pretty oily. That could have been the problem also. I got an issue with my flame trap system. It's kind of shooting oil on that side of the engine. So you can kind of see where it's at. Took apart that one, sanded it, cleaned it. Yeah, let me show you the last one here. This is that strap that goes from the firewall and it goes to the valve cover there. So took it apart right there and cleaned it. Took it apart right there also. So those electrical ground locations were the issue that I was having. That strange issue with the radio, and then also the couple no start situations that I had. And I cleaned those up, and the problem has disappeared. Thanks for watching.